Good morning, everyone. Here are the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of December 2nd, 2022. Just a reminder, my shelling footage was recorded before Hurricane Ian. Sanibel Island is still currently closed to tourists, but hopefully that will change soon. Lee County will resume normal toll operations on the 3rd of its three toll bridges, the Sanibel Causeway, at 6 a.m. on January 1st, 2023. The county had restored tolls November 1st to the Cape Coral Bridge and the Midpoint Bridge after the suspension of tolls on all three bridges shortly before Hurricane Ian's landfall on September 28th. The addition of the Sanibel Causeway completes the restoration. The city of Sanibel has not yet, not yet established a date when re-entry passes will no longer be required. The county's toll program, called Leeway, will honor its discount programs for Sanibel residents who had them prior to the storm through January 31st. Sanibel-based Leeway customers are asked to renew their programs for 2023 now. Typically, the annual renewal process takes place in October. Sanibel residents with power and internet access can renew online at www.legov.com backslash tolls. A phone line for renewal is also available at 239-533-9297 beginning today, Thursday, December 1st. Leeway will also email Sanibel program participants this month. Contractors who are doing work on Sanibel should visit the website to obtain a free leeway transponder and to deposit funds into an account to avoid paying the $3 administrative fee that is applied to those without transponders. Transponders from other entities such as SunPass and EasyPass also work. All three county toll bridges are all electronic. No cash is accepted. In case you missed it, Sanibel does not control the tolls on the causeway. Lee County does. Social media tends to give Sanibel a bad rap for being greedy with the tolls, but the tolls technically go to Lee County, not Sanibel. I'm not fond of tolls, but they do help Florida have one of the best maintained roadways in the USA. Just a reminder, free tetanus and flu shots are every Thursday at the Sanibel Palm Ridge Fire Station from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Chief Dalton and Deputy Chief Tom Thompson met on Thursday with the Dunes HOA board members. The Dunes is forming a neighborhood watch and asked for tips and techniques from the Sanibel Police Department. The Police Department would like to remind everyone if they see something to make a difference and make a call. Thanks for listening.